Okay, so this is just an addition to uh, the previous third episode on search uh, component. Uh, this explains how I fixed the issue that we've experienced towards the end of it. Okay, so first of all, I've created a new test under the fetch product test, which I called override last page if current page exceeds number of available pages. So when we're making a call to the server, I said that I want to uh, access page 16, knowing that there are only 15 pages, and obviously we are only displaying one record per page. If I just scroll up to the top, this is where we defined it, that default per page is going to be one. So technically we should have 15 pages, we are saying that we are accessing the 16th one. And then I've uh, skipped 14 records, making sure that I only have the last record 15th on the 15th page. And what I expect to receive from a server, because I'm overwriting this on the server site, uh, we should get back for the params per page one, but page 15 rather than 16, what we sent. So basically when we send the incorrect, the number uh, for the page associated with the page is going to be more than there are records, there are pages uh, returned with our response, then we go in to set it to the last page in the, in the record set. And then a uh, total uh, 15 pages, obviously previous page will be 14th, last page will be 15th, next page will be null. And if you run this test, you'll see that this is passing. And this is passing because if I now open our search, if I just go back to search, queries and search, you'll see that I've also added for the meta method, what I did now that we know the total number of records, I've checked if the last page is less than params page and params obviously come from this params object, which is basically taking the, uh, the data from the request. And if it's less than what we received with the request for the page index, then we set this params page property to the last page. So this is what's overwriting this. Uh, the other thing that I've changed, let me just quickly check, search only payload, uh, because we are now returning the search, uh, the uh, parameters, and we need to also override them. Let's just open JS and our module search. What I've also done for our fetch method, fetch action, should I say, uh, after this commit set records, once the record's been set, I'm checking if the, the params received with the response are not the same as the parents that we just set, then we are going to uh, use the mutation store to overwrite them. So group, and for the params, we get what we received with the response. And obviously this will set the params internally on the state as well as on a session story. So it's going to overwrite them if they are incorrect. Uh, what else have we done? Because of this, obviously we are displaying search as an empty string, not as null. And before we were returning the, uh, the search as, uh, let me just quickly check as, it's not here. We're returning it as as null. Uh, search only payload. There we go. I had to typecast it to a string here. So rather than null, it, otherwise it would be null. Obviously, if it's null, then uh, typecasting this to string obviously is going to return an empty string rather than null back to the client. So that's another thing. Uh, what else have I changed? In the search form, oh, search form, I've also made a small amendment uh, unrelated to the issue, uh, just a small thing. Search form here, I've moved this processing true from this uh, debounce closure to the change method because when we're going to change, we also should set it to true. And then when we receive the uh, response, uh, the promise obviously is being resolved, then we set it to false. So processing from the, the update to the change method that's been uh, moved. Anything else? Search pagination. Okay, another thing I've noticed that I've made a mistake here. If we just open our this is search pagination view. So going back to the components, search pagination with, uh, scroll up. We have this opacity, I've set it as opacity hyphen five, but it's hyphen 50 uh, with Tailwind. So obviously that I had to update it in a few uh, places here and 
you have to make sure that it's obviously uh, using this opacity. And I think that was everything that we did. Um, uh, going back to this uh, search module, make sure that for the fetch uh, action, you add the dispatch because we only had commit state and dispatch. We need this uh, dispatch. No, we don't need the dispatch actually, sorry, wrong. My bad, we don't need that because I originally actually was using the action, which I obviously don't need now anymore. Okay, so that's everything. Once you've done all this, uh, recompile the files, everything's gonna work fine. If we are on a uh, second page now, if I go to the 20th, you'll see we are on the first page, it shows at the bottom. Uh, let's just try the same thing again, going back to 10. We are on a second page, uh, as you can see, params returned page two, but if I set 20, the response will now, for the params, be overwritten from a server to page one. So that seems to be working fine. Hope you enjoyed this a little addition to our previous live stream. Uh, yeah, any questions, suggestions, obviously feel free to post them under the video. Cheers.